So I just want to do a quick vid on these um, old uh, Goodrich hoses that they done for Hope back in the day. Um, they're pretty decent. I do prefer the Hope uh, braided hoses because the clamp is a little bit more permanent inside. It's a stronger system in my opinion. Uh, these ones do come with their own little bolt as well. Which looks like that. You get two little uh, rubber seals. If you don't have the two little rubber seals, you can use the standard kind of... Um, crush washers, you know the copper washers that Hope use and they work fine with this system that's what your ends look like on the Goodridge as well as that um, and normally they have that little yellow band on there and it normally has their logo on there but this one's worn away so yeah, I'm going to trim it from the top so we're going to show you how to basically trim this hose and put it back together what you're going to need is to have two 8 mils for this little system here I don't think that's going to fit over. Nope, that's a seven. And you're just going to undo that, basically. It's a bit fiddly. And what that's doing is it's actually unscrewing a thread. There's a very long thread on the end that goes into the hose. So as you undo this, it's kind of... It's got quite a bit of uh, resistance going on. Should be able to now unscrew that, and that's the fitting that you're left with. As you can see, it's just a piece of metal that's got a long thread on there, and that digs that basically digs and threads into the inside of the hose. And then this bigger bit of thread up here goes onto the uh, shroud, as you would call it which is this bit, there's a little bit of thread in there and that goes on today. so essentially you just pull that off and then what you're going to do I don't want to actually trim this hose because I've already kind of measured this out and this one will go up for sale so I don't really want to adjust it and redo it so you would take a, a decent pair of cutters something like this because they're braided hoses you're not going to be able to cut them with normal kind of soft tools and you would just essentially cut that hose to the length that you wanted and then in order to get this um, shroud back on you would have to trim up the end of the hose like this um, potentially you could get it over this plastic bit you wouldn't have to trim the hose but it's a lot easier if you do trim the hose and then all you do is you just slide that shroud on you might find that bits of the braided hose have started to fray so the kind of quicker you do this, the better, really. So you're just going to get that on, and that just pushes on. Oh, the other thing is, as well, when you do cut this hose, you might flatten it. So what you want to do is just uh, grab a pair of pliers or something and try and make sure that it's nice and round. You also might want to get like a flat end screwdriver and just open that up a little bit. I use this tiny uh, little flat end, and I just basically done that in there just to open it a bit so that you can get the kind of start of the thread in there so yeah you're going to pop your shroud back on try and avoid bits of frayed metal that'll do if you want to just push that down that's going to sit there like that and you're just going to Take this and you're gonna uh, wind that in because I've already done this I'm just gonna wind it backwards until it clicks a bit and see if I can maybe line that thread up but I don't think it's that sophisticated in there so yeah and that's basically it really and then you're just gonna tighten this end up again kind of butt up to each other so basically this bit and this bit there won't be any gap between well, I don't know why I'm using this I've got a ring ratchet which would make things a bit easier oh yeah use the open end of the spanner because if you do kind of um, not say these two are not aligned you won't get this spanner off you'll get to here and you'll hit the other bolt and this will this bit will be kind of twisted 
So yeah, use the open end of the spanner on the back one. your Goodridge uh, braided hose and just make sure it's clamped on there because what happens is inside where that thread's gone into the hose it wears out and the, and the inner part of the hose becomes too big and you end up being able to turn this part and it's not going to hold your hose uh, properly. What's great about these is how quick and easy it is to do whereas if you look at the Hope ones they've got like a, a brass clamp inside and it's kind of it's a, a much kind of longer job but yeah, this is what I was on about with the open end of the spanner. So you can't actually get that onto the second bit because they're not lined up uh, totally perfect. So yeah, but that's it really. You might have a good ridge hose on your old hopes. Um, could you do it on this end? Yeah, you could do it on this end if you wanted. It's basically the same thing. It's just you've only got one uh, eight mil on the shroud. And you just unscrew this if you wanted to. Make sure that one's nice and solid on there. But yeah, I'd probably use like a Allen key through that hole. And then you could turn it. But yeah, there you go.